Dr. Ray working with Coach Ballou and this IU football program for, well, since January. How do you assess your plan coming in to where you guys are at now? How are you guys feeling about where this team's at headed into fall camp? Uh, after we got here maybe week two or three in January, we sat down looking at some data and kind of projected out where, where we thought we needed to be to compete in the Big Ten, uh, mapped out a process that we, we thought would, would get us there. Um, very, very impressed with our guys. I don't think either of us have ever pushed a team that hard that long. And they, they survived it and they've thrived. Um, under the pressure, so that's a, that's a good sign. I would say uh, we're optimistic that uh, you, we made good strides. Um, we met the goals that we, we were hoping to meet, and in a lot of ways, we've far exceeded those. Uh, from a speed standpoint, you know, we looked at seven or eight guys last year over 21 miles an hour, and um, I think we're over 40 guys now at that level. So. From a speed standpoint, um, I like what I see. Uh, it's time to now go and play that fast. Um, but these guys have given us every ounce of blood and sweat that they possibly could. Uh, and really a credit to them that, uh, that they've thrived under that type of a system. But, you know, you bring great science and great work ethic together and good stuff happens. As you show these kids the numbers and their improvement numbers, how quickly do you see them buy into what you guys are doing? Well, you know, I, was, I, th I think a good thing for me working with a guy like Coach Ballou is when he walks in the room and says, you're going to do this, uh, the buy-in happens just out of fear. Uh, but, you know, we collect data so much that on a, on a monthly basis they're getting reports about themselves, about their position groups, about the team in general. And um, as we work towards spring football, the, the, the gains have started to come and they're starting to feel it. And so I think it, the, that process of buy-in happened fairly quickly. And that more from a mental standpoint where, you know, you just want, you want the, the guys to have full faith in what we're doing. And some of the stuff we ask them to do, uh, you better have full faith in it uh, or the effort's just not going to be there. And so I, I, th I think I see a lot of guys that are all in, and uh, I, I expect that that'll show up on the field. Now as you translate from off season to fall camp and then this season, what changes for you as far as the, the training program? How do you translate your work in the regular season? Well, in the off season, you, you rely a lot on, on the amount of work that you can you have more hours with the guys so you can, you can get in more volume, more work. Now that we get into the season, now it's kind of when the fun stuff happens where the, the technology and the science and the unique aspects of our system really start to kick in. Our data over the years, we, our guys get faster during the year. Um, so it's not something that stop, we don't stop, we don't go into a maintenance phase. It's, you know, we're always seeking gains, but you have to do it in far less time and far less work. So I, I think the real value of this, the system that we're operating really starts to demonstrate itself in season. Uh, things get fine tuned quite a bit. You know, guy, we talk a lot about how, you know, guys don't just go in the weight room and do the exact same thing as everybody else. During the season, you see even more and more of that, where we're really fine-tuning what, uh, what a, a player's needs are and addressing those very specifically.